men and makeup the cosmetic market is booming right now for men and one enterprising nashville woman can take a lot of the credit for that and terry bulger is here with more on that now we saw in some of your teases does she just like uh, what's the word? Ambush men on the street? She did for us, for our cameras, <laughs> because for a lot of men, it takes an ambush to even think that they're going to put something like that on their face. So true. But it's working. First thing Michelle Propes tells her male clients is we don't use the M word. M meaning makeup. For her, it's all about skin care, aftershave ideas, and grooming help. It's not lipstick and eyeliner. But she's always willing to put a little powder on you. Get ready, men. Michelle's coming. Excuse me. Do you do anything for your skin? No. You don't face it, most do do men don't. She wants to change that, one face at a time. Watch this. This is undetectable products that's going to clean your cowboy act up, baby doll. All we're doing is just doing a little skin care on your face. Come on. You love it. And let me just knock out a little bit of your stuff. While most men flinch at the thought of cosmetics, Michelle Prope says don't. Men have never had the education that women have had. You know, we grew up as girls knowing you got to look good, but we're not saying look pretty. Our message is look healthy. Clean this up, guys. We don't want to see oily faces. Men are getting the message. Menagee is her Nashville skincare company with worldwide sales, a counter at Nordstrom's. This is high def friendly. Packing powder with publicity power. The skincare company Menage developed camo as the manly counterpart to what female makeup must have. The face has always been a centerpiece in Michelle's life. That's her modeling milk as a kid. She moved on to makeup for celebrities. She got Jay, now she wants the regular bomb? Joes. You don't want to clean all that up? <laughs> no? Not really. Could I touch you? No. no, I can't touch you? You're just hoping the light turns green? <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Convincing men will take time. And I'm just going to take it and just put a little bit on your skin. Okay. It's going to take 10 years off of you. Her belief, your face is your first impression. When you look good, you feel good, and confidence equals success. And really, that's what it's all about. Yeah, Michelle knows the best way to fight the macho is constantly tell guys that she's not selling beauty products. She also knows in the end, it's the wives and girlfriends that wind up buying these things for their man. You know, I, I thought she looked a little bit nicer today. And well, now, thank you. Now, I was going to ask, why didn't she do anything for you? Uh, she said it was fine. No, actually, we have yeah, these right. bright lights pointing at us, yeah. so we do put a little bit on, but yeah. she's trying to get the folks with, you know, that are just walking around right. on the streets, construction workers, plumbers. Makeup? Does it look like makeup on no, the No, no, it really doesn't. Yeah. In fact, the point for Michelle is she doesn't want people to know that right. you're yeah. wearing anything on your face, but it's more skin care, it's more sun protection, you know, just kind of nice stuff that you wouldn't know you were wearing it. Yeah, okay. That one guy didn't want any part yeah, of it. Yeah, I can say tell. that poor guy. 